guys, JD presents 9345. Today I'm going to be doing one of my favorite all-time sets ever. Set 75170, The Phantom 2. I mean, they don't call it The Phantom 2, but it's the second Phantom, so I'm just going to call it The Phantom 2. It's, um, it has 269 pieces, ages 7 to 12, and it would have cost you $30 in the United States. Now let's take a look at the minifigures. So, uh, first up we have chopper and oh, let's get the camera to focus there we go this help oh yeah that helps a lot so you can see with the chopper he's got these newer shorter astromech legs here and over here i like the printing that they did focus come on camera focus Sorry guys. Camera focus. Oh man. Why is it this camera is not oh there it is. You can see they did a nice job of printing it. If you've seen it in the movie, I mean the TV show, sorry. He's got hands that come out of here, which is nice. And he also has a hand that comes out here and here. And down here, there should be a wheel. Like, down here should be a wheel, but, you know, I'm not going to hold against Lego, just because they've never put in the third leg for the astromechs, which they probably should do that. And up here, there's this nice, intricate printing. Let's hit the camera focus. Yeah, but it's a very nice printing. And it's a pretty nice astromech figure. Nice to put in, like, maybe an astromech collection, you know? All right, next up, we're going to put cannon jars. Yes, I'm going to put the best figure for last. Uh, let me get it right in front of the camera here. So I like this new season three and four cannon jars. And I just, now looking at this figure, it makes me wish that they would do a season three and four um, for Zeb and um, and really Ezra. Because we've never, we've only gotten a little kid Ezra, not the newer season seasoned Ezra. Which I think would be really cool how to get a, a new blue hair piece. But anyways, back to Kanan. You can see he's got the mask, which has the printing on it, which I think they did a spectacular job. It's a hat hair combo exclusive to Kanan. Camera focus back again. Okay. And here's the back printing. It's nothing special, really. Here's a belt and some more pant legging, which kind of, which is good because it shows, you know, ragtag rebel group. And over here, he's got this yellow triangle, which I don't really know what it's for. He's got his blue lightsaber, and he's got a holster for his blaster right there, and just some shoulder guards. And under, this is the cool part. He has two faces, this one. But it's cool, he's got the white eyes, so he's blind, so it's like a more calm expression. This one's a happy expression. Now, I'll show this one. Yeah. Just tilt this up, so... Happy Kanan. So, yeah. Very nice figure, but... Now we're here for the man, the myth, the legend. Mithra Nuodo, a.k.a. Grand Admiral Thrawn. Now, I'm going to dock this at a couple points for, because of Thrawn. Now, for instance, on the box, they say Admiral Thrawn. I'll show it to you right now. See, Admiral Thrawn. But he's a Grand Admiral at this time, first of all, because he was... You know, promoted after the whole incident with Rinda Price. Oh, and then again, it's from the book. And I highly suggest you read it. He's got, you know, the yellow brass kind of over on his shoulder, which is very nice. And his insignia plate, that's the biggest kicker in the set. It's supposed to be six red, three blue, and three yellow, not... Because that would be a Grand Admiral or Grand Moth. But right now it's three, I mean six red... And six blue, which is Admiral rank. I mean, that is this is a little nicky picky thing, but it's very nice. We see the blue chest hands. See his two coats, um, four coat cylinders over here. His belt, and yeah, I'm kind of glad they didn't put any printing over here because it didn't really need any printing. Now he's got his blaster, and on the back, you know, you have just general imperial officer. He's got the uh, the yellow brass shoulders kind of thing. And then the back of the belt, more tunic kind of thing. This 
His face is very nice. Let's get the camera to focus back up again. Camera focus. There it is. So you can see it's more of a calm expression. Re this Now, this expression is really, like, Thrawn. And I think, for the cartoon Thrawn, at least, he did a very good job of it. This blue hair, I believe, is exclusive to this set. Sorry, guys. This is exclusive to the set. Now, if you turn... It's more of an angry expression, not really like Thrawn. So, if you were to do, you know, more movie accuracy, I would not suggest doing this one. Now, for the main reason that Thrawn in the books and in really in the TV show, he's common collective like this. Very nice. We know what saying. Just little nitpicky things here and there, but let's get to the Phantom. Now, I know most people bought this set just for those minifigures but you have to give this ship some credit it's a very nice ship it's a modified separate shuttle aka shiva b now i'm sorry i didn't do a lord time with legos this weekend but i'll do one on this i believe i just like the shiva b so let's just get a good looking at this structure and everything here's a, oh yeah this thing I, by the way has a ton of stickers here's a sticker 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 Sticker, 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 yeah. But I believe for, but the stickers for this one is important. If you don't have the stickers in this one, you're missing out. And of course you have the landing gear. Nice builds. And of course you're stuck in the Shiva B, the regular one. You can, of course, fold them in. Like, let's see. Ah, uh, see, oh yeah, so like that, nice, that's just like how the Shiva bee would fly, kind of like a bird of prey, you know, and then you can actually move these all the way up too, which is nice, and we want to land it of course, ah, uh. But I really like how they stayed true to the Shiva B class. And then, the, and over here on top, sorry, I think you can see it, yeah. It's a place to put chopper, like a little astromech port. This is definitely modified, because chopper, because usually these kind of ports and stuff would, and chopper is a C-110P, which was our public astromech, so the Separatists would never use it for that. So that was definitely modified. Now let's get into the cockpit. So it's a Speed Champions windshield, which I like how they're using that in other sets. Open this up just like that. And you can get a bit that better picture inside. So you can see a place to put Kanan right there. It, use no, it doesn't use any studs, which is very nice. You know, so it's easy to get him in, easy to remove him. Over here is a printed control panel. They use this in a lot of the Star Wars sets. So that's always nice. And then there's really one complaint. They have a red Technic pin back here that's exposed. It's not that big of a complaint, really. But eh, it's just something nitpicky kind of complaint. Nothing really that bad. Now let's go to the back. Now here, this is a bit more interesting. So back over here, you see this little knob right here, right? If you move it to the left, Right? It fires stud shooters. I mean, not stud shooters. Pardon me. The spring-loaded shooters. Because they're hidden. They're really integrated well. Right over here. Now, let me show it to you, you know, from this side view. I'm using the same feature. Alright. Let me find it. There it is. There can be an extra one of these, which is nice. Because these can be easily lost. And then back here, we can kind of get, yeah. You can, of course, open this up and take this crate out. And there's, as you can see, there's really nothing else in there. I mean, you get, I guess you could um, put like two figures sitting down, they'd be cramped. But hey, you can get them in there. So, all right, so let's get to the crate. Let me show you guys the crate now. So, this crate. 
it's an it's a stolen imperial crate. We know that because it has the imperial insignia on it. Now inside, you just move that, take that off, and let me just get that out. In it are two thermal detonators, which you could use, you know, to pretend to blow some imperial thing up if you have something. All right, so let's get to review. So overall, I like and dislike this at the same time. Now, I like the Phantom, don't get me wrong, it's a very nice ship and everything, but... Um... I just think that the reason why they made this set was to make Thrawn, which is, you know... Which is good, you know. The minifigures are excellent, but, um, besides some inaccuracies. And overall, it's an extremely nice set. If you can find it for $30, I highly recommend it to you. I would give this set an A+. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.